Tarrant County GOP Chair Bo French. Welcome to Ion Politics. Pleasure. How are you today? I'm well, and thank you so much. So I wanted to ask you, the Tarrant County GOP passed a unanimous resolution uh, expressing disapproval of County Commissioners Gary Fickus and also Manny Ramirez after they voted to keep some local universities as part of the early voting polling locations. Uh, why did you do that? Well, I don't have control over what my uh, executive committee does, but um, yeah, I think the vast majority of grassroots Republicans believe that with limited number of polling locations, uh, given our countywide uh, voting here in Tarrant County, that those polling locations should be accessible to the widest um, number of people. College campuses are not. They're hard to get to. Um, you know, there are with 50, uh, 50 polling locations in Tarrant County, almost 20 percent of the locations are on college campuses, which seem to indicate an effort to uh, turn out uh, more Democrats than Republicans. I mean, I think that is the stated goal of, of uh, some of the groups operating here in Tarrant County. And look, it's just a, it's just a matter of we have a limited number of polling locations. They should be accessible to the widest number of people. Uh, in the case of UTA, for instance, uh, University of Texas at Arlington, uh, very low turnout in that uh, in that polling location. And there's another polling location literally a couple of blocks away. So uh, I think college students are capable of uh, walking a couple of blocks to go vote. Um, so if we're going to have polling locations, um, you know, right down the street from a college, it, it kind of seems odd. Like, why would we also have it on a college when most of the people at that college aren't even from Tarrant County? And just to be clear, you back what uh, the executive committee did. Well, I think anytime somebody, uh, when a Republican votes to the applause of the radical leftist mob, it probably was a bad vote. Uh, look, I, I have a great relationship with uh, Commissioner Ramirez. I think he's a great guy. I think he has a very bright future. Uh, but, you know, people make mistakes. I, th I think that particular vote was a bad vote. In response, uh, Commissioner Ramirez sent out a statement. Uh, he isn't backing down. He said that uh, these same early voting sites were approved back in March unanimously. He said these sites have been around for, for a while. And he accused you of using party resources to uh, attack him and spread misinformation about him. So I wanted to give you the opportunity to respond. Yeah. Uh, I use no party resources to do anything. Uh, I think there was... Um... There were some other groups who uh, maybe sent some text messages or something that I heard about. I assume that's what he's talking about. Obviously, those did not come from the Tarrant County GOP or any resources we have. Um, our executive committee did have a meeting and did vote. So, I mean, if that's what he's talking about, maybe. Um, uh, but listen, like I said, pe people make mistakes. I think this is a bad vote. Um, you know, I, I expect that. Uh, oh, and, and addressing your um Point that these locations have been used for decades. Uh, that's actually not true. I mean, we just started countywide voting, uh, you know, six years ago, I think. So these haven't been used for decades. This is not something that's been around forever. And, you know, I, as the Republican county chair, am responsible for, um, you know, getting election workers and, and poll workers. And I can tell you without fail, the polling locations on college campuses are the most problematic for the election judges. Um, take UTAs again, for example, I keep picking on that one, but it, it is the most egregious of um, the problematic polling locations for us. Um, they, they don't, um, you know, there, there are a laws governing elections and polling locations as to who can be there, who can, who can have, uh, you know, where people can electioneer, um, where uh, electronic devices can be, phones, recording devices, those kind of things. Uh, UTA does a, not a very good job of enforcing all of those. It's created a huge amount of um, difficulty for our poll workers. And, you know, I, when, whenever there's chaos in an election, that's a problem. And there's always chaos on the college campus polling locations and um, the kind that we don't see elsewhere. And so, you know, again, I want orderly, safe elections. And I think the way you do that is have polling locations that uh, are not rife with problems and are easily accessible by the widest number of people. And I, I believe it was Commissioner Ramirez who stated and who made in his statement said that these locations have been around for decades. But let me ask you about. Yeah, but that's not but that's not but that's not true. No, I understand that. that. I think that yeah, I, that's an error. I yeah. just wanted to be clear. I didn't say that mm -hmm. that was part of his statement. 
Um, right. But the, the one thing that I did want to ask you is that this was part of the options that was presented by the Tarrant County election administrator who was appointed by uh, Judge O'Hare. So, so what? The, 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 the list. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, who, who cares who appointed him? Yeah. I mean, he, he was appointed by, um, by the Republican, you know, majority commission. That doesn't mean that he's perfect or that every decision he makes or that his team under him makes is perfect. No, it is our job um, as as uh, my job as the county chair to uh, you know make um, observations and recommendations based on things that happen. And just because you know a polling location was used in the primary doesn't mean that we can't look at that polling location and say, hey, there were problems with that. That shouldn't be a polling location going forward. I think that most people would agree with that. And I wanted to ask you about uh, Fort Worth Mayor Maddie Parker. Uh, she issued a statement. As you know, she's a Republican. She thanked Commissioner Ramirez on X, uh, saying he should be commended, saying, quote, democracy is meant to be an arena for ideas. When we resort to winning at the expense of voter turnout, we've all lost. So what do you say to that? Yeah, listen, I, I think uh, Mayor Parker, who I have a great relationship with, I've actually known her a long time, um, you know, again, I think people sometimes make comments or feel compelled to make comments when they don't necessarily know all of uh, what went behind a decision or a statement. And I had not talked to Matt, uh, to Mayor Parker, um, before she released that statement. I intend to talk to her, you know, uh, Representative Charlie Guerin did a similar, I uh, made a similar statement and I, and I went and met with him. He and I had coffee the other day and, um, uh, had a, had a great conversation and came away agreeing on a lot of things. Uh, I expect to do that with uh, Mayor Parker soon. Um, but, you know, listen, I think that a lot of people are also just loyal to, you know, a lot of the electeds here in Tarrant County, like um, Commissioner Ramirez, just like I do. I think he's a great guy. Uh, again, that doesn't mean he's not open to criticism. I think all politicians should be held accountable when they make mistakes. And my, my whole point here is that when you take a vote and you upset the base of your party, uh, and to the cheers of the radical leftist mob who was there in that uh, commissioner's court hearing, perhaps it's not the right vote. And that's how I feel about it. And I wanted to ask you, because Democrats have said that this was the Tarrant County Republicans, or at least uh, Tim O'Hare and now the Tarrant County GOP trying to suppress the vote of younger people who vote Democratic. Um, yeah. What do you say well, to uh, that is a low IQ argument. We all know that we're not trying to suppress the vote. We have countywide voting, right? People can choose to go to whatever locations, we, but we have a limited number of locations. We only have 50 locations. Right now, it is my belief because almost 20% of those locations are on college campuses. It's making it harder for everyone else to vote. I mean, it's, it's that simple. It's hard for you and me to go to a college campus and vote. You know, we got to pay for parking. You have to walk a lot further. You know, certainly elderly people are going to have a more difficult time getting there. So if you're going to have a polling location, it should be the easiest and most accessible to the widest number of people. College campuses do not fit that bill. Has there been any attempt to uh, reach out to UT Arlington and say, hey, is there a location that maybe is a little easier to access? Well, Tarrant County Elections is responsible for that. That's not something that, that I would do. Um, so I, I can't speak to what they've done in, in terms of that. But, Tar but Tarrant County Elections is aware of our problems that we have repeatedly had with um, UTA's polling location. And I wanted to ask you also, because here we are, uh, not too far away from this election, early voting starts yeah. October 21st, as you know. And so I'm wondering, how concerned are you about whether former President Donald Trump and Senator Ted Cruz and other Republicans down the ballot will win their respective races in Tarrant County. Well, if you remember in 2018, uh, Ted Cruz did not win here. And in 2020, uh, Donald Trump did not win here. So, uh, you know, clearly my focus as the new Tarrant County GOP chairman is to make sure they win. And that's what I'm working very hard to do. I think we've done some things that haven't been done before. Uh, I put together a bold plan that I've taken to our grassroots and to our donors and said, this is what we're going to do differently in Tarrant County this election cycle. And um, I, I've raised more money than we've ever raised before as a party. And we're deploying that in a way that we have not done before. And so I'm hopeful that we're going to we're going to reverse the trend from 2018 to 2020. 
you know, Republicans did very well in Tarrant County in 2022. And so um, uh, my hope is that we can get back to that and, and keep moving forward and, and kind of do what Florida did. You know, Florida, and not, not too many years ago, was a very uh, kind of a toss-up state, 50-50. But in the last election, it was 60-40 Republican. And that's my goal is to try to get Tarrant County uh, back in that column. And what do you think the key to that is? Well, my personal belief is that as Republicans, um, we need not we need to have a message that is not uh, just slightly different than the Democrat message. Um, I think, uh, like Ronald Reagan said, you know, paint in bold colors, not pale pastels. And so, um, you know, boldly speak about the things that we believe in, and and show the evidence of what works for the for the most people. And uh, I think it's a message that uh, makes people want to are going to want to come to Tarrant County. I mean, people are moving. You know, I think before 2020, if you met someone moving to Tarrant County from California, a lot of those people were bringing their left-leaning politics with them. Since 2020, uh, I've seen a total reversal in that. A lot of the people moving here uh, are coming here because they see it as a place that embraces freedom and liberty and, and uh, our individual rights. Well, that'll be on the line on Election Day, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, Tarrant County GOP Chair Bo French, thank you so much. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Great to see you.